For this demonstration, a simplified enterprise environment is encapsulated into a sandbox running within the Amazon AWS environment, consisting of a next-gen firewall, security control from Palo Alto Networks, SIM from Splunk, and the Amazon Web Application Firewall. For this assessment, the target of an external WannaCry attack simulation will be the agent running in the DMZ zone, and for lateral movement, one of the branch agents will be selected as the target. This scenario involves the emulation of an external adversary attempting to infect a control agent by transmitting the eternal blue SMB vulnerability. All phases of the cyber kill chain are emulated from reconnaissance towards actions on objective. The dark cloud instances are automatically instantiated in the cloud when the services are required, with no end user intervention. The next step is to define the agents involved for this assessment after creating the scenario. The agent representing the DMZ will be selected as the target, and the agent within the branch site as a lateral movement target. For advanced exercises, particularly for red teams, there are also options to override port numbers and protocol options for evasive actions. For the purposes of continuous validation, each customized scenario can be scheduled for automation and or to be executed on a one-time basis. When the scenario is selected for execution, the graphical user interface transitions over to the results section for a detailed result view that provides real-time results on a stage-by-stage -stage result that maps to the appropriate framework such as a Lockheed Martin cyber kill chain. The results for this kill chain indicates that the DMZ allowed the malicious traffic and set of actions through from exploitation through command and control. However, the lateral movement was blocked, and we can correlate this from the security control. The General Threat Simulator dashboard will also account for this prevention and detection score along with any other assessments that may run in parallel. Since there's only one assessment, the prevention and detection scores for that assessment will be utilized for any further reporting. The specifics of each stage of the results allows the end user to correlate events from the security control and the SIM. To remediate this issue, the end user can obtain additional information such as the information regarding the relevant vulnerability, MITRE attack technique, PCAPs, and the cloud agent and local agent and the IP addresses that were involved. The recommendations provide vendor-specific recommendations on remediating the issue with the applicable security control, which in this case is the Palo Alto Network's firewall. This information can then be retrieved to adjust the security control security policy. In addition to the vendor-specific recommendations, the information obtained from the SIM within the relevant timestamps can also point to the specific rules that may be applicable towards the remediation process. Based upon this information, the end user can follow the change process as per their organization's requirements.